Good morning, everybody. I am Professor Pugdo. I work for the University of Information Technology, Vietnam National University, Ho Chi Minh City. Today, I will present Chapter 15 about the output design and prototyping. Today, I will present Chapter 15 about the output design and prototyping. In this chapter, I will distinguish between internal, external, and turn around outputs. I will differentiate between detail, summary, and exception report. I will identify several output implementation methods. I will differentiate among tabular, zone, and graphic format for presenting information. I will distinguish among area, bar, column, Pi, line, reader, unit, and scatter chart and their use. I will describe several general principles that are important to output design. And I will design and prototype computer outputs. Now, let me go to internal outputs. Internal outputs is an output intended for system owner and system user within an organization. There are three kinds of report. The first one is a detailed report. It's an internal report that presents information with click to or no filtering. In this detailed report, you have the detailed information about the thing you want to describe. For example, a listing of on customer in this listing, maybe you have customer number, customer name, customer address, customer telephone number. I mean the detailed information about the customer. The second report is a summary report. It's a kind of report that categorizes the information for manager. You think that the manager, they use the summary report to read the decision. So they don't want the detailed report, they want a summary report in order to understand properly about the thing in the business. In the summary report, we do not have to wait through detail. And we can use graphical format using chart, like chart and Excel to increase the information in the summary report. An example of the summary report is a count of customer by reason. How many customers are there is the reason. The last one is exception report. An exception report is a report about the exception. Now I go to the detailed report. An example. In this report, you see the, the product order on the 25th January 2000. In this report, you have a purchase number, product number, product time, quantity in stock, and quantity on order. You have many, many information. In PO number, 112312, you have three product number and product time, and so forth. Now let me go to the product sales summary, the summary report. In summary report, you have a summary information. For example, you see you have this based on the product type. For example, product type merchandise, you have the total. And in the product type title, you have the audio and you have the total number. Now let me go to exception report, an example. You see a delicate member account as of 25th January 2000. And it is a member who are not kept on time and they really want to list on the customer. Now I go to external output. External output is an output that leads the organization. For example, you send the report to the customer, to the supplier. A turnaround document is a kind of document. And it's no output that may be re-enter the system as a need book. We call more bills and invoice. You say to the customer, maybe return by the customer with payment. 
Now let me go to another document. This is an example. A purchase order. And you see here a you send this eternal document to the customer. This eternal card document. Now I go to turn around document. I did the invoice. You send this invoice to the customer and the customer will send it back to you with payment. Implement methods for output. We have a printing output, I mean tabular output present information in column. Zone output place it text and number into designated area. And your screen output, graphic output is used of pictorial chart to convey information. Edit most rate trend and relations that can be easily seen in tabular format. You can use the power of self terminal, multimedia, email, hyperlink, microfilm, or microfiche. Now, this is a taxonomy for computer generated output. You have a table with column and row. And in Excel, I mean the, the intersection between column and row is a detail about the report. For example, you see a printer and the internal output. It means the detailed summary of exception, information, hard copy, report for internal in, uh, business use. Or you have uh, many, many uh, output that you use for external and with the delivery like screen or web sale terminal. And here you can use the email, I mean the internal output reporting to display message related to internal business information. And you can use the microfiche for example for turn around output. Please study this table to select a good delivery for your output. Now let me go to chart by you, as you study in Excel, we have a many types. Each type have a function to do. For example, when you use a live chart, you want to show one or more series of data over a period of time. They are useful for summarizing and showing data at a regular interval. Each line represents one series or category of data. In this picture, toward the right, you see two lines. The green light and the purple light. And maybe we go to the bar chart. I use work for comparing series of category of data. Each bar represent on series of category of data. And you also have the column chart and so forth. Now let me go to pie charts. So the relationship of part to a whole, they can use work for summarizing percentage. I mean, about the percentage of whole within a single series of data. For example, you see how many percent pass in our examination and you need the pie chart to show the relationship of pass to a whole. And maybe you have a scatter chart or radio chart or do not chart. Scatter chart are useful for showing the relationship between two or more series or category of data measured at an even of time. Now you see a template here. I mean, Apple design with an old style printer spacing chart. I remember when I work, young, I worked for the, I worked for IBM, and at that time we use IBM mainframe computer, very old computer. I mean, IBM 360, and we use this chart. I mean, a template in a sheet to design the output. We use the pencil an eraser to draw to design the format of the output design and you see here like we can draw we can draw something and we write out the code to do this now i can uh, use now we can use modern case tool to support the output design and in the picture you see the output design with a modern case tool case tool means computer edit system engineering and you can do that and you can use the report writer tool, I mean the output design with the right report writer tool. In this slide, you see you have a many table, I mean the table in the regional database, and you can do that with the report writer tool. And you can click and select the field you want to display in the output. Output design guideline, remember, output should be simple to read and interpret. 
for example, include title, the entire stem, include section and heading to segment information, the label on fields and column, include legend for on abbreviation in order to understand clearly about the abbreviation. Remember, one abbreviation maybe has many meaning. Include only required information. Only provide method to expand and contract information. And information should be balanced across the page or screen. The timing of output is important. They can affect how the output is designed and implemented and the time. The, di the distribution or asset to outputs must be sufficient to assist on relevant user. An output must be accepted to the system user who will receive them. The system analyst must understand how the recipient plan to use the output. You must understand about the request on the customer before you decide the output. I mean, they, you provide them the valuable information. Output design process identifies system output and review logical requirement. Specific, specify physical output requirement and necessary design any pre-printed form. See, uh, I mean, print review. Design, validate, and test output using some combination of layout tool, prototype tool, code generated tool, and a logical data structure for output requirement. You see here, you have the invoice, you have the address, and in each invoice, you have invoice number, invoice date, customer number. In address, you have a post office box numbers, you have a city, and so forth. And now we go to tabular report design principle, design issue, design guideline, and so forth. Not only the base size, but A4 or A3 is dependent on the report and information on the report. A page orientation, or red landscape, a page heading, you see the guideline, you must follow the guideline in order to have the good report. Report legend, a legend is an explanation. About the column heading, I mean the, the, the column name. Column heading merge should be short and descriptive. Heading alignment, I mean tower the left or tower the right. Remember the number tower the right, in the text tower the left. Columns spacing, row heading. And about the formatting, data is often stored with the formatting. And in, in order to help you to increase the clearance, I mean, the clearly of the output, you would have reform back data, make the request number not. And the control break, when you have group of rows, should be logical grouped in the report and the end report. For the string output, we have a principle of design. For example, the size, remember now we can access the internet by from the smartphone or from the iPad. So you must design the screen output sufficient to this device. Surely, online output have the advantage of being limited by the physical page they can show. On navigation, you should only have a sense of what they are in a network of online screen. You should also require the ability to navigate between screen. Partitioning, information hiding, highlighting, very important. If you want to emphasize the important information or the errorness, the exception or specific problem. I predict all of it provide you still the option to print a permanent copy of the report. And here is the report customization. You have here a report and the graph and you have a layout for you and the customer to discuss. And now I go to prototype, I mean a sample, a scanner, help you to share on your understanding about the system of the customer. And here is a graphical report prototype, I mean quarterly sale, a popular DVD audio format. You see the column, the graphic, column chart, and you see here. And now I go to record at a time output prototype, and you see the layout, very important, the layout of the report. And here you see you have an order number, promotion number, member number, club name and so forth. And you can design here, I mean skip or maybe skip one or skip, uh, go to first one, go to next and so forth. And here is a web database output prototype, you mean about South State Entertainment Club. 
because this one is about the entertainment I mean so maybe the picture is a very very attractive for the customer and the customer can go to the prototype here I mean how to attract the customer so you can discuss with your customer for this and this is a web media player I mean you can play the music so the design will be maybe to embed the window media player here Thank you for joining us. Thank you.